Create a running list of your blessings, things you are gen- genuinely grateful for from God and others. Here's the key, a running list. All, everybody has running lists in your life. You already have them. I need bread, I need milk, I need sugar. You keep them. You, you, oftentimes, I hear my wife, uh, hey Siri, <laughs> pick up milk, okay? We all have these, these, these lists, right? Okay? And so what we don't often have is a running list of what we're thankful for. So we can come back and focus in on these things. You need this list in your life because this becomes the, the fodder or the fertilizer of your gratitude, all right? Next one. Read with me. Develop a reputation as a generous praiser. Don't hold back expressions of gratitude and praise to God and to others. I want you and all of us to work on a new reputation this year. What is a reputation? It's what you're known for. That's what a reputation is. And a reputation, I want to be a reputation. I want to have a reputation. I want to be known for. Let me say it that way. I want to be known as a praiser. How about you? I want to be known that when people come and see me coming, they're not running the other way. But when they see me coming, this oh, I can't wait to see him because he's always got something good to say. He's always thankful for something. And he always spills over. I always feel better after I've been around him. Why? Because he's developed this gratitude of heart and gratitude of mind. Let it spill. Let there be the reputation of being a generous praiser. Well, I don't want to praise people too much. They might get proud. Don't worry about it. That God knows how to take care of them. They get proud. God says, I want you to be generous in your praise to other people people and praise to God. Next one. Read with me. Regularly read, recite, and sing psalms and songs of thanksgiving and praise. So what you want to do is you want to read through the book of Psalms, read through the pages of scripture, and every time you see something in there that's an expression of gratitude, read it like it's your own, and then become a singer of worship, become a singer of praise. Become someone who honors and worships God with your voice. Do you know that God wants to hear you sing to him? You say, well, he hasn't heard my voice, okay? Well, guess what? He doesn't care what your voice is. You're his child. And as his child, he is blessed by hearing your voice come before him in praise and thanksgiving. And so you sing in private. Take time. Get alone with yourself. If you're a bad singer, make sure nobody else is around, okay? Okay. But do it, okay? Sing praise to God. 